guys, it's Justine, and today we are checking out the brand new iPhone SE. I'm so excited. I can't wait to check this out. I love the iPhone SE. Now, as my personal phone, I do always go for the Pro Max versions, but the fact that this phone is one of the only ones that still has that home button and with Touch ID is something I think that a lot of iPhone users do love and some of us might even miss. So before we get into the specs, let's unbox it. Hello, little phone. Oh, it's the starlight. Look how pretty. I didn't even know what color I had. This is so great. Wow, check that out. Look at that fingerprint button right there, just letting you know, touch ID. This is also something that I've never noticed before. I don't know if that's because they kind of feel like this is more of a, a beginner phone, that they have the buttons labeled on each side of like what the things are. Touch ID, power button, mute, volume up, volume down. I don't think that they do that on any of the other pro devices. So that's actually kind of interesting. And this isn't really a beginner phone, but maybe they just assume that this is like somebody's first phone and maybe they don't understand. I don't know. <laughs> they even labeled the charging port. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, 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 other side. Love that. Also in the box, we've got our power cable and the sticker and SIM card ejector. We've also got a case and this is the Abyss Blue. That's pretty. It's gonna look great on the starlight. Oh, that's nice. Do they have an Apple Watch band in this color? Because if they do, call me. What a nice little phone. Like this is incredible. It's so light. Let's get it all set up and head outside. Here it is, set up Touch ID, let's do it. Look at this, oh, this is great. What a happy time. <laughs> All right, it's all set up. Let's head outside and test it out. So no phone review is complete without testing out the video. So first, let's do some front-facing video and see how this performs. All right, hello, hi. It's Justine here, coming to you live from the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. We're gonna take a sip. The colors look nice. We're shooting in 4K, 30 frames a second on the front-facing camera. Now, let's flip over to the rear camera. Sup, friends? Hey. So I'm using the single camera here on the iPhone SE. How does it sound? How does it look? <music> Gotta do the hair flips. My shoes, they're furry. Great, love that. Now let's test out the photos. We're gonna take a portrait mode photo, and then Jake is gonna take a portrait mode, well, not portrait, it's a normal photo with his actual camera, and we're gonna put them side by side and see what they look like. Here you go. I mean, it's still so impressive, like what this little phone and camera can do. I mean, yeah, obviously it's not perfect, but it still is pretty good. I love the colors on that. Good job, little phone. So the iPhone SE is a pretty big improvement over the previous, and it even pulls some specs from the iPhone 13, like the A15 Bionic chip. It also now has 5G. It's got a glass front and back. The camera system is improved with a 12 megapixel camera with computational photography, deep fusion, and smart HDR. It has a 4.7 inch Retina HD display. It has improved battery life, 16 core neural engine, improved video quality. It's 26 times faster than an iPhone 8, and it comes in three new colors. As for pricing, it starts at $429. So after using this phone for a little bit, it kind of reminded me that not everyone needs to have the highest end iPhone because this, while it is nowhere near the stats and the specs of the Pro Max, it's an incredible little device. For most people, if you just want to take some photos and some videos and have a powerful enough device to be able to view those photos, edit those photos, talk to your friends, FaceTime, you can play video games. Like this is, it's kind of like a perfect phone. I definitely enjoy getting a chance to check this out because I feel like sometimes I do get a little bit jaded by just testing out things that are the highest end. And that's not realistic for most people because most people do not need that high end of a phone. So it is kind of 
cool to kind of bring it back and kind of test out phones that really make more sense for most people. And this SE can kind of be sort of like your entryway into the Apple ecosystem. If you're coming from Android or if your grandmother or parents, you don't want to start them on the highest end iPhones, like this can be a perfect start for them. It has everything you need. It is even using parts from the new iPhone 13, like the A15 Bionic chip. It does have 5G. So really, this is all that you would need. So if you guys are new here, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. I have a bunch of reviews coming up, so I look forward to sharing those with you. So with that, I will see you in my next video. And also, did you guys know that you can use phones to make phone calls? Yeah, I know. You can do that on here. <laughs> Little phone, you're cute. I like you a lot. <laughs>